Hi and welcome to WP Optin Boxes. Now in this quick demo, I'm going to show you why this plugin is the most unique, feature-rich, standalone smart box plugin available today. WP OB is fully loaded straight out of the box, allowing anybody to produce professional looking opt-in and call to action boxes in minutes. In this tutorial, I'm going to do a walkthrough and show you how easy it is to set up professional style boxes using WP opt-in boxes. So right now, as you can see, I don't have anything set up. This is a brand new installation. Um, so once you've installed the plugin, you can either add a brand new box by clicking on add new box there or there or there. So the first step is to name your box. You can always edit this later on. And you'll notice that we have uh, a number of options here um, for this demonstration i'm just going to set up uh, an email opt-in box so i'm going to click here and then i can select from a number of pre-formatted professional templates so any of these um so let's uh, let me just show you a couple so all of these are built into the plugin straight out of the box okay so let's just uh let's just choose this one um just to demonstrate this um this process so save and next and then we go on to step two. So in step two, you can customize um, the text, the graphics, anything you like, and you can also install your autoresponder code. So opt in form settings, click here. As you can see, I have not actually integrated um, any autoresponder code at the moment, so it's prompted me to do that now. So I can just click there and then choose from any of the autoresponders here. And you can see that all of the leading autoresponder companies are integrated here. I'll just scroll down so you can see that. And of course, you can also add the actual HTML code down here. You can actually customize the whole template um, to whichever extent you want to go to. So we're going to keep it simple in this demonstration, but you can see here that it gives you the option to um, change the size, color of the text, the input text here. We can even get rid of it if we wanted to. We can change the text inside of the input fields and the alignment. And then we're just going to go over to uh, headings now. So here we can change this text and that gives you the option to um, change the font if you want to and obviously the size and the color content settings and again you can change your font and the color and the size and pretty much anything you like button settings same again you can change the whole lot image this one comes pre-formatted but if you want to get rid of that image and put your room in there you can do so and then it will pop up in there box container settings this is the actual box itself so you can change that box if you really wanted to so if you want to put a, a background color in there to match your site for example then you can do so by clicking here and if you really want to then obviously the css is down here so you want to uh, mess about with the css to any extent then you can do so each and every one of the templates can be customized to suit your particular needs and it's all very very easy to do so once you've edited your box as i've done here you can see i've made a few changes up here click save and next now step three is pretty much self-explanatory. You can see here, you can use flash effects so you can fade in and you can uh, determine how quick it's going to fade in and fade out again. Uh, make sticky, slide in from side so you can choose from left or right and the speed of it. And then down here, uh, optional opt-in form settings. So you can set these up so your subscribers will see these um, after they've entered their details and click submit. And then once you've decided what options you're going to use, uh, for this option I'm going to use uh, enable flash effects. Uh, it should fade in in two seconds and then click update. And now this box will determine which posts or whether you're going to use it um, site-wide or which post you're going to put this particular code on. So I'm going to choose a particular page like so and then I'm just going to swipe that short code there and publish. So once you have the short code, you can paste it into any page, any post that you like. I'm doing it this way really because this particular site is a multi-niche so using the short code allows me to drop that code and that box onto any specific page that I like. So I'm just going to pop that in there, update, and this particular post should pop up inside the actual content. Now there's lots of other options which I'll go over in just a second but I'm just going to show you this now. So if I scroll down here, you can see this just popped up within the content there and it's just got the um, fade in and out. We can also make our boxes um, sticky once they've been scrolled past. So in this case here, if I scroll down here, you can see the boxes pop there and then it just sticks to the top. 
and then in step three we have additional settings which we can use so we can uh, we can choose to have a triggered pop-up um, and then we can set the seconds there or we can have an exit pop there like so or a triggered scroll pop-up and what that means is it'll pop up when it gets to the percentage that you set right here so let me just show you those, um, those options quickly so a triggered pop-up let's have it 11 seconds and save and now what will happen is uh, the box will pop up and it will black out the rest of the screen like so here we can have the uh, box set to trigger on scroll so if I start scrolling now so two-step opt-in um, if we choose this one in templates save that one and you can see that we've got um, the very same box that we've set up already um, but it's got the um, animated 50% complete bar above the box come into um, step 3 click update there and then here we can decide on the button so opt-in style let's pick a blue flat button like so and we'll just leave um, click here as the text for now and then we'll copy that short code there like so and then if I paste that code in there and update and now when we click this button here then the box will pop up we'll get the animated bar there 50% complete bar and the box inside global settings the user can choose whether to track all conversions include Google Analytics choose to use specific boxes for site-wide integration choose to use specific boxes for posts so these will only appear on posts or choose to use a specific box on all pages or you can set up specific boxes to pop up on a particular category now this is particularly useful for um, sites which have different niches different categories such as this one here so i could have one box pop up for everything related to cellulite wpob comes complete with a ton of professional templates they're all ready to go straight out of the box but if you did want to use something specific something you've had designed for a specific project then upload it here so you can upload um, any kind of template just choose file upload and it'll be extracted to the template folder option to export any saved boxes here or import new boxes from here we've also included a reporting feature right here you can choose to have your stat reports sent to your email address either daily or weekly and you can also go back and edit any part of any of your boxes at any point you can go back and you can change the template you can change the design the box settings you can even make a duplicate of a box or if you wanted to you could pause a specific box here like so and if you're not sure which style of opt-in box is going to work best for your campaign then simply use our one click split testing feature WordPress opt-in box is designed to meet the needs of marketers and bloggers in today's market. Simple to use and feature rich straight out of the box and yet without the ongoing monthly costs normally associated with a product of this caliber. Thanks again for watching this quick video and if you need more details on any specific features then please get in touch we'll be happy to help.